Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Wanted to get back into Krita and highlight two really awesome features which have been around, but they're powerful and I wanted to make you aware of them because I've been using them a lot lately and I thought it could be useful. So let's jump on over into Krita. I am presently in version 5.1.4. I know there's a .5 out there, but um, it's mostly bug fixes, I believe, for the mobile ones, and that doesn't quite catch my... Uh, <laughs> quite catch me at the at this particular juncture. I'm on Ubuntu right now. And uh, let's get into it. So a couple of things here. The mirror controls, they are typically along the top here. These are really awesome if you're going to be doing something that needs to be repeated, uh, particularly something like a, a book corners or framing or something that has very intricate design that needs to be matched perfectly matched exactly around a framing of something. This is the way to get it done. So first thing you would do is you would flip them on. And if you're working on something that's symmetrical like this, what I would suggest is just make sure that you center them under the drop down for each, do the move canvas center X or Y respectively. I'm just going to do them both. Um, you can of course move them, move them if you want to, but I'm going to do them centered because I want it to be duplicated from one quadrant, if you will, over to the others, uh, top, right, bottom, and so on and so forth. So to give you an example here, I am going to switch to a paintbrush. And then I also mentioned other features here. So one of the other things that's super helpful when you're doing intricate things like this is the stabilizer. All right. So I'll turn that off for a moment because that can get, it's easy to see the difference. <laughs> All right. So let me just make sure we have a good color to work from. There we go. And let's get back into this now. So I'm going to just start doing this. And you can see as I start to draw something out, it is mirroring. As the feature uh, would have you know, it duplicates that same pattern. It makes it very simple to, to repeat the same without having to redraw it. And it's also very intelligent that if I were to cross over one, it continues on to the other and you can continue drawing your pattern across those different mirrored uh, thresholds, so to speak. So you can get some really interesting and fancy designs pretty simply, but to get your curves really tight and get them looking really sharp, one thing that I found was really useful in this context was using the smoothing. Now, when you go on paintbrush, you can hop over the tool options. Mine happen to be in the upper right hand corner because that's where I put them. Uh, they may be in a different spot for you depending on how your layout is set up. But this is where mine is. Click on your tool options and set it to stabilizer. And you can set the delay. This is really the margin of error. It's that extra circle you now see uh, as I bring my tool around. Um, and it helps me kind of self correct and keep my edges really, really smooth as I go. So to give you an example of that, while my mirrors are on, I'm going to do a very similar idea here. And you can see how much more evenly and graduated my movements become because I have that margin of error where I can somewhat correct and get the bends that much more fluid as I conduct them. So that's it. You can do some really amazing, intricate designs very quickly with these two things using the mirrors and you, you don't have to use them both by the way if you're only going to be duplicating left to right then you can turn off that horizontal axis that horizontal mirror and just work that way but because i'm doing it on all four sides of the page in this case i'm using them both and the other thing is the stabilizer when you use the paintbrush it's a way just to make sure that your curves are really, really smooth. It can get in the way sometimes if you're doing a lot of repetitive uh, motion, I've noticed, or if you're doing dots, if you're doing a lot of like very rapid, uh, almost like line shading, this is not a good option for that, so I would turn it off. This is purely for the sense of you want to have something that has very smooth roundness and curvature to it. This is a great way to get it done. So. That's that. Once again, this was Krita. It is a free open source tool to do just about any drawing project you can imagine. It also does photo raw photography editing on some levels, yeah, which you may not have known. I've done some videos about that if you're curious to go watch those. Um, but otherwise, go check it out. It is free. You lose nothing by trying it. And it does so many things for digital drawing um, particularly. So I would highly recommend that every way I can. 
This has been Photo Learningism. I do hope this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it was. Please do subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you at the next video.